Hey guys, welcome to JMoff Pickup. Today we're going to touch on the topic of how to mitigate damage from alcohol and also hangovers, okay? So that you can drink but still be healthy, all right? So I often get asked, what's like the best way to overcome the fear of approach, the fear of opening a set? And my answer, this is the truth, and many other advanced guys will confirm this, but not many people say this publicly, the answer is to drink. Okay, like two to three drinks, you don't need to get fucking hammered, but a few drinks helps tremendously with approaching, with having your verbals flow, with being able to escalate physically more smoothly um, to take you out of your head, okay? Like I'm a very analytical and logical guy. I can still run sober game just fine, but I get into more of like a flow, I'm not gonna call it the term state, but I just kind of like stop it, it calms down some of the chatter, otherwise I'm like overanalyzing and stuff. And people naturally get more talkative and more like, like have fun and they're like less judgmental of what they're saying, that kind of stuff. So I think drinking is actually like, it's almost like my Popeye spinach, right? Like I've literally been in situations where like a pole is like on the fence and I'm like, fuck, and I like do like a shot or two and I'm like, boom, and then, you know, I'm able to like finesse things properly. <clears throat> It's not like a necessary component, but it definitely helps. So you should utilize it. But then the next thing that usually comes back from guys is, oh, well, I don't want to be unhealthy or I don't want to like damage my body from alcohol, right? Okay. Now I was a club DJ for multiple years. I pretty much stopped doing that once I got into game. Um, but I was also working like a full-time job, office job through my twenties. So I was like, fuck, I can't like keep coming in hungover every morning and you know fuck up these jobs and like feel like shit all day and do all this damage to my body <clears throat> but i said in other videos before i have social anxiety and general anxiety and alcohol helped me a lot to kind of like push past that stuff so um that brings me to the point of this video which is how can you drink in a healthy way or how do you minimize the damage to your body from alcohol and also the subjective feeling of a hangover as well. So it's like win-win. <clears throat> the number one compound, well, first of all, I'll get into that in a second. This is, how, this is what's going on, right? When you drink alcohol, it's ethanol. It's gonna be like a little nerdy science lesson here. When you drink al alcohol, it's ethanol, okay? The harmful byproduct of ethanol is called acetaldehyde. Acetaldehyde kind of wreaks havoc on your cells, okay? I think it's like one of those, it's a free radical, so it's like trying to like steal an electron uh, from uh, other cells, right? And it's causing all this oxidative damage. So drinking is essentially like a massive free radical attack on all your tissues, right? It sounds terrible. <clears throat> and then that hangover feeling is a combination of this massive free radical attack plus dehydration or like less than optimal hydration. So the way you combat this is by neutralizing the acetaldehyde and I'll tell you the magical compound that does that and also by drinking water, okay? Or if you wanna be a little more unhealthy, something like Gatorade <clears throat> that has lots of shitty sugar in it. So just plain water along with this supplement is really what's gonna fix things for you. So the name of the supplement is called N dash acetyl dash cysteine or NAC for short. Okay, I'll put that down here so you can see it. And I'm gonna have the links to all these things on Amazon, all the different supplements I talked to so you guys can go on and order those. So what NAC does, like one pill is 600 milligrams, right? And you're supposed to take one per drink. Um, NAC is like the antidote, right? It scavenges out the acetaldehyde binds to it and neutralizes it. All right, so you have all these harmful acetaldehyde uh, substances in your body when you drink, the NAC binds to it and neutralizes it. And then as a secondary bonus, well there's actually multiple benefits to NAC, but the secondary bonus, <clears throat> NAC is a precursor to glutathione, which is the primary phase two detoxifier in your liver. Okay, so it's scavenging out all the acetaldehyde and then what it means to be a precursor is it like allows like an enzyme to be formed or whatever. I, I don't know the exact, you know, I didn't write this shit out. But basically it's like, it's allowing for like more glutathione to be produced. 
And glutathione is the primary phase two detoxifying your liver. So it's, it's keeping your liver functioning optimally to clear out the bad shit from the alcohol. And it's also scavenging out the acetaldehyde. So you're supposed to take 600 milligrams, which is one pill. You can buy this shit, not just on Amazon. You can buy it at CVS, at Walgreens, at Walmart, any uh, supermarket in the supplement section, okay? Um, it also combats um, pollutants in the air and in the water. It's good for combating against secondhand smoke, okay? So it's kind of like your little like club um, antidote, right? You're out at a club, people are fucking smoking, you're drinking. Um, this is going to keep your liver functioning well. It's going to, it's going to combat the oxidation and the free radical attack. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Oh, it also regulates blood sugar. Okay. So NAC like normalizes like blood sugar levels, which is also helpful for any, this, this is off topic. I'm not going to go into it. I'll talk about another video. Basically there's something called the glycemic index, um, which is how fast your body turns a carbohydrate into straight sugar in your bloodstream and then you have insulin that comes in and there's like this insulin response and over time that can lead to diabetes or metabolic syndrome. So NAC, um, and you should be taking this on a daily basis. It's, it's like a good antioxidant in general. So that's going to be your major line of defense. Okay. And for a while, for years, I was taking the straight up NAC pills. Like the way I got through living in Vegas in 2013, I would have the bottle of NAC pills along with like a coconut water because it's extra hydrating, excuse me, like a Vita Cocoa. Um, so it has like electrolytes and vitamins and minerals and it's extra hydrating. And I'd leave that like on my pillow. So I'd like come back from the club and I'd be like, fuck. And I'd see the, the NAC pills and I'd just like down a bunch of them with the coconut water, pass out in the morning. It, it oftentimes feels like you didn't drink. It's, it's like the hangover is like gone and it also like prevents like a majority of the damage to the body. Now, <clears throat> what I've discovered in the past year, <clears throat> and that's what I'll link to below, is there are these, <clears throat> there's these sustained release NAC tablets, which means um, it's being released over time, right? Because the, the most effective way to administer NAC is you're supposed to take one 600 milligram pill per drink, okay? Like you can also take it before you drink or you can take it after you drink, but it's not as effective as if as it, unless you take it drink by drink. I remember I shared this all with Jeffy uh, from RST. I shared it all with him. By the way, I'm not going to ever fucking diss him. I think he's a cool dude. He doesn't fucking bullshit about things. He doesn't make up stories. <clears throat> Jeffy is cool in my book. Um, but yeah, he, I told him about this shit and he started like bringing like little compartments of pills around to the club and he would take them like that's the proper way to do it but I didn't want to do that shit so I would take it like before I went out or after returning home and that's suboptimal because there's like damage being done like your body's like metabolizing the NAC like antidote so to speak and there's damage being done like in those hours that you're out of the club where you don't have NAC pills to combat but now you can front load a whole bunch of shit right you can take the NAC sustained and that will combat the alcohol damage through the night. So that's the big aha moment here. <clears throat> You're going to want sustained release NAC, take it before you go out and then water before bed and preferably water throughout the night too. Like with, in between every drink, have a glass of water or something like that. Now this shit isn't magic. It, <clears throat> it works very, very well. And I've had countless people that I've shared this with notice a massive subjective difference, meaning for themselves personally. Okay. So even though there's all this good science behind it, it also, people are also noticing like they're way less hungover or not at all hungover. They feel way better. <clears throat> you can get on with your day the next day. Okay. So you get like the benefits of alcohol without all the negative side effects. <clears throat> but it's not, like, like I said before, it's not magic. Like if you go on like a <clears throat> massive bender where you're just like drinking like fuck loads of like tons of quantities or for a super long duration, it's, you know, you're still going to have a bit of a hangover in the morning. Like that's, that's like the only situations where it doesn't work is if you drink like an extreme quantity or for an extreme duration, but just don't do that. Like if you drink an extreme quantity, it's going to fuck your game up anyways, cause you're going to be sloppy and acting like a zombie and shit. Like there's like a point of no return where if you drink too much and you know, a little drinking tip here, if you start doing shots and shit like that, <clears throat> that can like creep up on you really fast. And before you know it, you're just, 
you know, spewing all kinds of shit with your verbals, you're slurring your words, you're kind of like stumbling, like that kind of shit is a huge turn off to girls and your fucking sets are just going to tank most of the night, okay? So don't get too sloppy. All right, <clears throat> now the other, <clears throat> other fucker. The other supplements that are of great help, um, vitamin C, uh, that can protect your water-soluble tissues. Vitamin E, that can protect your fat-soluble tissues. Vitamin B, that can protect your nervous system, okay? And then alpha-lipoic acid, that actually recycles vitamin C and vitamin E, like within your system because the half-life of vitamin C is only 30 minutes. So I'll link to all this shit, and, I, and I, I'm giving you like the good forms of these things. Like the vitamin C, it's a sustained release, because the half-life is so short, it's a thousand milligram sustained release, I'm gonna link. So you take the NAC in the beginning of the night with the vitamin C. <clears throat> the vitamin E, it's a mixed to cough for all uh, formula. A lot of the commercial vitamin E's that you get in the store are just alpha to cough for all, but you need like a mix with alpha and gamma, I think it's delta or whatever, but you need to get the mixed version. That's the version I'm gonna link down below. Vitamin B, it's good to take like high quantities. That protects your nervous system, like alcohol depletes uh, vitamin B1, which is uh, thiamine. I actually take, I'm not gonna link this, but as a side note, I actually take uh, something called benfotiamine, which is a fat soluble version of B1. It's just like way more potent just because that gets depleted from drinking alcohol regularly. <clears throat> I, don't, I barely even drink anymore with all this fucking workout shit, but you know, if you're, if you're hitting the nightclubs all the time, you're probably going to want to be drinking. Or if you're doing like wine dates to the house, that kind of stuff, like you're going to be drinking regularly. So take all this stuff. The other big one is milk thistle. Um, it goes by the name Silly Marin, right? It's a root from a plant or something like that. What that does is it insulates the liver and protects it from damage. And it all, this is how you like prevent like long-term fucking health problems. Like milk thistle repairs like damaged cells in the liver and it also insulates the liver from damage. That's how you prevent things like cirrhosis. And lastly, I'm going to link to something called liver refresh. And that's just like a whole gambit of antioxidants. It also has milk thistle and it also has NAC in it. Um, it has stuff like grape, grape seed extract, dandelion root, like a bunch of shit, like it's a whole fucking cocktail of shit. I take that daily as well. That's, it's like a whole bunch of blends of herbs that are just gonna like keep your liver functioning optimally. So <clears throat> that's pretty much it. Just to recap, uh, the benefits of alcohol for game and for social interaction are that it pretty much just totally eliminates approach anxiety. Like I'm not kidding, like there's some nights even, even at over 800 lays, where I'll be out at the club and I'll be totally sober and I'll be like, fuck, like I want to, I'm not like making moves as quick as I would to go open. I'm like doubting my, you know, I'm doubting like, should I approach even at, at 800 plus And it's your fucking, um, the fear circuit in your brain, the amygdala, it's like the fight or flight thing. It's, it's not a real danger and it's not a real, you know, I've, I've been through these situations thousands of times, but it's still like a real feeling to have two, three drinks. That feeling evaporates for those of you that never try to drink. Like I, I can encourage clients and like have a couple and they're like, oh my God, like it went away. I'm like, yeah. So <clears throat> like, I think Jeffy has this joke, like what's the best strategy for doing day game? And he's like day drinking. I mean, it fucking helps. Um, this is a Venezuelan chick coming to sleep over. Um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, besides getting rid of fear of approaching, um, it just kind of makes like your verbals more smooth, like you're able to like flow in the conversation more. You're not really judging what you're saying or thinking about what you're saying. It just kind of makes all that stuff automatic. Um, your physical escalation is a lot smoother. Like for those of you, for most people, like if you're escalating totally sober versus like having a few drinks, like it's one is just way more fluid and natural and like not like jerky or awkward or anything. You know, like I've seen guys like trying to escalate sober and they're just kind of like, uh, like that. But if you have a few drinks, you're just kind of like, come here, like, you know, not sloppy or, or way overboard, but it, it just kind of eases things. And to be perfectly honest, like most of the advanced guys I know drink when they game because it improves your abilities. <clears throat> Even like hardcore fitness dudes, 
they will have a few drinks. Like, again, you don't need to get way over the top, like one, two, three drinks, right? <clears throat> Getting into like that little sweet spot where it's taking the edge off. These are the benefits that I'm stressing. Um, and I, I firmly believe in them. Even with my, I'm not getting drunk anymore, like drinking often, but when I go out and do like a serious night game session where I'm like, all right, I'm gonna like fucking tear this club up, I will have some drinks in the beginning. <clears throat> um, okay. Then, just to recap those supplements again, NAC is gonna be your best friend. You're gonna wanna take the sustained release NAC before you go out. You're gonna also wanna take vitamin C sustained release before you go out. Okay, the mixed to cough version of vitamin E to protect your fat soluble tissues, milk thistle to insulate your liver, um, the liver refresh to kind of like keep the liver functioning optimally, and then the B vitamin <clears throat> to protect your nervous system. Okay, and there's even more that you can take, but those are that's like the main core. The liver refresh has a bunch of the other shit in it, like kind of in one bang for the buck, so you don't need to get like 10, 15 supplements. Take those main ones, protect water soluble tissues, fat soluble tissues, scavenge the acetaldehyde, um, protect your nervous system, keep your liver functioning optimally. And then the only other piece to add in is water, okay? You're gonna wanna keep, co keep vita coconut water, Vita Coco, keep that stuff like on your pillow. Like the, way, the, way, the reason I say pillow, because <clears throat> that's where you're going at the end of the night, is to your bed and you remember, otherwise you can just come in and like fucking take your shoes off. You know, even, you might even be with a chick or, you know, not with a chick, but either way, you're gonna probably just go straight to bed and pass out, okay? So, <clears throat> having that there in your pillow, you can just fucking chug it, right? You can even have like some NAC that's not sustained release right there as well and take that. Try having like four or five drinks with no NAC and not drinking water versus NAC and water, and you'll notice like a massive difference. And like I said, it's gonna protect <clears throat> from the secondhand smoke, from impurities in the water and the air. It's gonna keep your blood sugar regulated. It's a win all around. <clears throat> all right, sorry for not getting this up sooner. A lot of people have been asking about it on the, you know, from the Reddit, ask me anything I did, um, just getting private messages all the time about it. So yeah, get these products. Try it out. If you guys are on a budget or you can't afford to get all these different supplements, um, the NAC is really the big one that you need. That's gonna scavenge the harmful byproducts of ethanol. So at least get that one. My little drinking shirt here. I'm excited for St. Patrick's Day. Oh, one little, one little thing here. St. Patrick's Day is coming up. I think it's March 17th. Google it, I'm pretty sure it's March 17th. Um, <clears throat> most city, big cities, bigger cities, will have like an all day pub crawl. It should, usually starts at like 11 a.m. Or, or noon and it'll run to like 2 a.m. This is like my favorite year or favorite day of the year to do game because it's literally just like fucking, it's like night game on the streets and in the bars for like 14 hours. It's from like noon to like 2 a.m. So it's like, you, just, you can build whole rotations off this day, like trust me. Like there's been many years where I've gotten over 50 numbers and by the time I shake all those out for dates and shit, I have like a five girl rotation. <clears throat> and everyone's in like a great mood and shit. Like, yeah, so. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.